Hi Leo, how are you doing? This is your love reading from the 25th until the 31st of March 2020. And let's do what I always do. If you've been here before, then you know I'm going to call in your spirit guides um, to my spirit room. Oh, outside, the dustbin truck has arrived and they are making noise. But we are going to continue with the reading. They won't be long. Okay, there they go. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> okay, so life must go on even though we're doing tarot readings. Okay, so Leo. Uh, my name is Deborah, by the way. If you haven't been here before, this is my channel, Energy of Everything. Thank you for clicking on. It means a lot to me. Um, if this reading is your reading, you're going to know. If it's not, it's fine. You can check back next week. The reading is a general reading. So if you want to swap energies around, if I'm talking about you and your person, you feel it's more the other way around, feel free to do so. Um, what else? What else? What else? If you want a personal reading, oopsie, the cards are just not doing cooperation. Um, then you can just check in the description box below. Anything else? Anything else? Hmm. No, that's it. If the reading resonates, hit the thumbs up, please. And you can subscribe and hit the notification bell because these readings come out every week. OMG. Hey, the introduction. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, okay, let's get an energy for you. Hello. We've got a page of pentacles. Okay, so Leah, who are you looking at? This is a new connection because it's a page, okay? And you are you looking at someone. You are looking at someone. You want to offer them that pentacle over there. And so, so nicely. It's like you're offering it so neatly. Like, hello, would you like this love offer? Woo, out comes the strength card in reverse. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> this person's considering it. They're not sure. Should I take this offer from Leo or not? <laughs> this is an interesting connection. This is new. This is a new connection, Leo. Um, hey, your card has made a show. Hello, strength card in the reverse. This person is very much aware of your charisma. If they come out with the Leo card there, in their energy, um, you do affect them. Ooh, Leo, you know how showy you can be, hey? Um, you do affect them. Ah, oh, you've been doing some very deep thinking. Whoa, Leo. Gee whiz, you got a two of wands energy. What has occurred in your energy? If you are single and this is you, OMG, you've been doing some very, very serious thinking. You may want to settle down. I think you're thinking of really settling down. Wow. Because this two of wands, this is, the, this is the person who's going, do I live alone for the rest of my life? Am I going to be by myself for the rest of my life? Or should I find someone to fill my life with? Maybe you've been feeling a bit like, Ah, this is not working for me anymore. The single life is just not working anymore. OMG, page of pentacles. That's about security. That's about feeling like involved with the, the connection with somebody. That's security. Goodness gracious me. Leo, it's not often I get you guys reading like this. Mm. OMG, are you looking at a past person? Because you've got a tower card coming out in their energy. My, my, my. Um, that's an ending or that's a change that's about to happen. Are you? I feel like you might be looking at an ex, somebody, maybe not an ex, somebody that you know from the past. This is a person you know. Um, they, I don't, honestly, if this is your reading, you're going to know, Leo. I don't feel like this connection was like to the point of dating. Like this was my wife or husband. I feel like this was a connection that happened and it didn't stay long. It's something that ended already because you got the tower card there and you've got the strength card in the reverse energy. So you could actually be wanting to go back to someone from your past or also wanting to like rekindle something. This person's thinking about it. They haven't decided whomever this is. They haven't yet decided. They are looking at the past as well with the tower card. They are looking at how things were before. This is an interesting reading. They're making a decision. They're making a decision with the strength card. Ooh, 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 ooh. No wonder the tower card came. This is an ex reading. <laughs> this is about an ex person. So you got this tower card. This person is thinking, they're thinking about all the things that have happened in the past between you and them. They're not feeling too 
sure. They're actually thinking about what happened in the past. What occurred between you and them. There was a breakup. Um, they walked away. Now you coming back in. There's a page on your side. This was the past. Um, there was a lot of pain in this relationship in the past. There was uh, fights and something had happened where somebody got really, really hurt in this connection. Um, I feel like somebody did something that actually hurt the other person. And they, or both of you did something. Maybe not intentionally, but the way that this relationship unfolded caused pain. Um, it was actually quite serious at that time. And even now, I feel it's still in this energy here. There's still unspoken words. There's still things that haven't been said, haven't been dealt with. Like there hasn't been closure in this connection. There has not been a closure here. That is what brings this reverse strength card energy out. This is quite interesting, Leo. I've got to say, this is interesting. Um, let us go and get, are we going to use this one as an outcome? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get an outcome here to see what exactly are we looking at. Gee whiz, are you serious? Wow. So you got a major arcana outcome card. Um, wow, uh, this is all I have to say because uh, <clears throat> you've got two strength cards that have fallen out on this table. They're from different decks, so they've got different numbers, but that is the strength card as well which is so interesting your energy out on this table is just going off the charts you've got two strength cards coming out that is so much of your energy yeah this person can even be another leo just look at that oh, my kids are making noise in the background sorry about that um so now the outcome is actually to rethink this entire situation um actually advice would be to go and get advice from someone else if you guys want to get back together and you just don't know how to proceed how to overcome what happened in the past it would be good to actually go sit down even with a counselor an older family member someone you can rely on even someone from the church whatever you your your leader is with regards to your marriage and relationships and all these things it would be good to get advice um you really have to reevaluate where this is going can it go will it work that's all the energy that's coming out there that's like real there's a lot of thinking going on let us have a look and see what exactly spirit guides have got to say with regards to this connection because now i'm getting so curious and sometimes they want one card or two cards and really they're like whoa 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 yeah someone's holding back their love we're going to take two spirit messages our message out there is a lack of emotion being shown. And I think it's got to do with the fact that you got these nine swords over there. Got those nine swords over there. It's like, what now? Energy. Again, stop. The offer. The offer is coming from you to them. Gee whiz, there is love going on in this connection. I think you have feelings for this person, Leo. You want to offer this cup of love to this person. There's so much going on in this reading. Oh my goodness gracious. There's like a stalemate going on here. There's like, can this work or can it not work kind of energy coming through? Will this situation work? Will it not work? What do we do? A lot of re-evaluation. Twice it has come out here um, on this table. You have to rethink the direction that you want to take with this person. Your energy, gee whiz, the two of wands, it's like, it's either with them or without them. And you actually want to reconnect with this person. If it's not your read, it's okay. Or possibly swap the energies around. But geez, there has been an ending. There's a new offer that wants to be made. But is the emotion there? Is there love left? Guys, I'm going to draw one more card. This is just too much. I can't bear it. Oh, Lordy. Spirit guides, come on. Show us something interesting. Yo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a Seven of Cups energy that has come out. The offer is, you might make this offer and they're going to decide. 
they're going to make a decision as to what to do. Um, I, I'm going to tell you what's coming out here. I think they've got options out there, not just you. I think a lot of people are paying them attention because there you got the Seven of Cups energy. Do they take up your offer or do they not take up your offer? Wow. Do they choose you or choose somebody else or choose just single life altogether? Um, right now, I feel like this is hanging in their energy. I feel like they are the ones that has to make the decision. Do I or do I not take up this offer again? Do I go back? I think they're being a bit cold to you at the moment. They're being a little bit standoffish. That's the energy that's coming through. Um, not really um, giving you any indication of how this is going to go. They're playing, not playing. I think they're thinking because they are thinking what to do right there with the strength card. I honestly, if you don't know, I think there is other offers that have come to them. Other people have offered. They may have to choose between you and someone else. I don't think it's somebody that they're actually dating. I think this is someone that is also making this offer like they are, like you are. And they're not sure exactly what to do. They're going to take their time in deciding. They're going to sit back. They may even ask advice of friends, family with regards to, as to what to do here. This is an unfolding thing. The offer has been made. Will they take it? Um, I think they're going to want more information from you. Honestly, they're going to want more details. They're going to want to know exactly what it is that you're offering. Because I feel with the Four of Cups being there, they, yeah, they've got more than one offer. Look at this. You see, they've got four cups. One cup it's coming from you. That's you offering that. But there's another three cups and they're looking at those three cups. This is the same kind of energy. The seven of cups, it's also more than one offer. It's also a lot of options. What do I take? What do I do? What do I choose? They are also trying to look at each situation. It may not even be people. It can literally be life situations. They could literally be sitting there going, um... Do I go back to, to Leo? Do I move forward alone? Do I uh, wait and see what happens? Do I move with a new person? Maybe more than one offer has come in to this person. And this is you as well, if you don't know. It's definitely more than one offer. They also want to know about your offer. What are the strings attached here? Are you going to be able to give me what I want in this connection? Are you going to be able to give me... I feel like there's something about stability here. There's a stability issue here. Are you going to be able to give me the stability that I need? It's almost like this person... That's why you're offering the pentacle. And it's almost like this person views stability. Stable connection stable life um, more important than love so they can actually choose stability over love even because I think they have a viewpoint of um, fine love is good but if we're not stable if we're not secure with each other then where will love take us if you can understand what I'm saying. Not like it's a bad thing. I feel like they've experienced some things in the past. And they're afraid to get back to that place of being unstable. Of not having a sense of security. It's like you're either going to put a ring on my finger. And make this a stable connection. Or I can't do it again. And whomever will offer them that stability. And they get along with that person. They will go to the one that is serious that's what you need to know Leo so if you're gonna make this offer to this person you don't want to be alone you need to know this person needs to know or they may take up an offer from somebody else just not that they're doing anything with anyone else um, they just have these options and they are looking at what is best for them so if you want to be what is best for them you have to make the offer very serious this has to be serious offer. I mean, this is a pentacle. It's a round ring shape 
<clears throat> I'm just saying you may have to literally give the offer in such a way that it is a serious commitment offer to this person. That is what they are looking for. There we go, Leah. This is your reading. Wow. Wow. Some serious things are about to happen if you decide to take this up, if you are ready to make this kind of move. Mm -hmm. Could Leo be losing their singlehood? <sighs> Could there be a ball and chain attached to your leg next year this time? <sighs> Leo, that's your decision. That's How much do you love this person? How much do you want stability? What is your choice? Because um, that's what they want. You, Leo, good luck. Um, thank you guys for watching, by the way. Bye.